Now I'll try not to blind you, but you see the light right above me right now. It's probably gonna be really hard to see. And the darkness behind you does not let you know where I am right now, but this should give you a hint. That's right, it's time for yet another sip and snack on location throwing Disney here at the International Food and Wine Festival here at Epcot. And I just did, or previously did, you don't know when this was. We're winking the history of winking, it's just kind of one of those things. There was a cream soda float that I did, and the one thing I'm going to give you a little uh, heads up about that, that is interesting because the top of it tasted like butterbeer ice cream. When we got to the bottom of it, it actually had like a cherry consistency, so I wasn't expecting cherry at all, and it kind of threw me off. It became quite bitter, but since obviously I don't drink and I'm extremely picky, food and wine is the greatest place in the world for me to be. And today, I'm here at a brand new location for this year, and that is the fact that Food & Wine has now expanded into Future World. So we are here at the Chew Lab, and it's Sustainable Chew and the Chew Lab, and it's close to Figment, basically, if you want to know where it is. If you're able to see this video before Food & Wine Festival is over, then you're able to uh, go pick up one yourself. I found something really interesting on here, and that is this, and that is the Liquid Nitro Chocolate Almond Truffle with Warm Whiskey Caramel. Dear God, say that five times fast. You can't, because it's impossible. So I'll show you what it looks like. And it looks like powdered sugar here. Doesn't that look delectable? I'll show you this gum. Look at it, look at it, in all its majesty. So as I go a little, uh, go a little Homestar Runner there trying to uh, stand here is really bizarre because I got the camera kind of like tilted so it's like it's barely normal here it's I feel really weird filming here obviously because when you're filming anything in a public place obviously people look at you strange like I'm sure people think oh why is he talking to an iPhone but I'm assuring you right now this sounds like it's gonna be worth it now basically what this is is it has a whiskey caramel warm center so pretty much in all essence, it's kind of like a molten lava cake, but it's done a different way. And it is chocolate almond, and it's like a truffle. So I'm curious to what this is gonna taste like. We got the powdered sugar here, it looks interesting. So let's see what we got. It like has like a kick to it, apparently is what they told me. So, oh, trying to get it broken apart is gonna be brilliant. So that's what it looks like. Oh, doesn't that look great? So let's see what we got here. Hmm, it's cold. It's really cold. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. The almond's not overpowering, which is good because I don't like almond. The chocolate is just the perfect amount that it needs to be right now. And I can barely taste the caramel, but it kind of has the consistency of a chocolate mousse, which is weird because it wasn't what I was expecting here. Um, oh, it gets a little bit more of this uh, like powdered sugar or whatever this is. This looks like powdered sugar. We'll see what it tastes like. Oh, I don't know what that is. We'll find out. Mmm, got a quick. There it is. There's where the almonds come in. Look what they are, they're like powdered almonds. Okay. That's interesting. Obviously, you know I'm not a fan of nuts. So, it's interesting that I would like this, but it's actually really good. I can honestly say that I really like this. And let me get some of this warm uh, whiskey caramel in the middle here. It's weird. It looks like an ice cream, doesn't it? It really does. At least to me, it does. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm pondering. <laughs> really super chocolatey. Like super chocolatey. So much to the point that it feels like I have just opened a huge can of chocolate frosting and I just like decided to start shoveling it in my mouth. That's exactly what it feels like. This stuff's really good. I mean, it's got the crunch to it because that's where the almond comes in. It's kind of more like a powdered sugar consistency, but you can definitely get the crunch of the almond and not exactly what I expected it would be at all. I mean, really, it isn't. I mean, it feels like you're eating chocolate mousse. That's pretty much what you're eating. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, and I'll shoot with you guys. There's more still to come on this wondrous trip we just had to Orlando, basically because I'll shoot with you guys. I'm out of sip and snack ideas, so I do a lot of on location. So, this isn't the last one. I probably will do at least one or two more before this trip is over, and you'll get those spread out sporadically through the next couple of months. When mom's out of town, it's kind of hard to get seven snack items because obviously I don't drive, as you guys know out there. So that being said, 
it's pretty easy to just do stuff on location. I found a lot of ideas that I'm gonna do with Universal next year. Things I did not do this trip. I saved some things specifically, and those will be coming your way in 2016. So that being said, I want to thank you guys and girls up there for watching. Thank you for following along with Pop on my Twitter at Sir Owen Disney. Also, if you would uh, like to email me at SirOwenDisney at gmail.com. If you have any ideas for Sip and Snack versus the Vlog of Randomness, which I assure you someday it's going to make its return. And uh, if you have any uh, thoughts on being a Popcast yourself, you can shoot me an email that way. Or if you would uh, like to uh, give your thoughts about other things in general. We're talking the award season obviously very soon. We're going to get back into that hardcore in the next couple of weeks. And obviously that's going to pick us up from the award season into WrestleMania season. And then WrestleMania season will lead us into the summer with the blockbusters and the brilliant movies. And then that will lead us to Halloween Horror Nights 26. Yes. Officially announced the other day. Dates to be announced as in September 16th through October 31st. Yes, Halloween Horror Nights ending on a Monday this coming year. See what happens with that. So that being said, live from the International Food and Wine Festival, until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.